Hi, this is Pat from NotClub33.com, and today we're doing a three-minute dining review of Everything Pop at Disney's Pop Century. Now, Everything Pop is a quick service restaurant. That means that you'll be able to mobile order, which is gonna be the most efficient way to get your food. Now, if you do have multiple allergies, it's a little bit harder to do that, so I would speak to a chef. But if you have one, maybe two allergies, easy ones, then go ahead and mobile order. The great thing about Disney's Pop Century is that it's on the Skyliner now. It is one of the best modes of transportation at Walt Disney World. It gets you to Hollywood Studios and Epcot without having to use buses. And this is fantastic. Now let's talk about the food here at Pop Century. This time we ordered breakfast. Uh, and we actually used the mobile order app, which is super efficient. Even with our allergies, the gluten and the shellfish, it was not an issue. Okay, uh, what was so efficient about this is that we're getting ready, we ordered our food, then as we walked to Everything Pop, we went into the app and let them know to start making our food. So by the time we got there, the food was ready. So this review is gonna be short and sweet. We both ordered the same thing, the breakfast bagel sandwich. Comes with cheese, scrambled eggs, bacon served on a gluten-free bagel. <laughs> now, the bagel is dense as hell, right? You ever had a gluten-free bagel? You know what I'm talking about. They aren't the best, but what the hell? I mean, this is this is what we got. Um, I'm just glad that they had something for us to eat. Uh, you know, the egg and cheese and the bacon. You know, the bacon was the shitty bacon that typically get at the quick service restaurants. The egg was the shitty eggs that usually get at the quick service restaurants. Uh, but combined, it was okay. Like. It was filling, so what more could we ask for? Now, as far as recommending uh, everything pop, um, I mean, I have to, kind of have to. What the hell? There's no other place to eat. It's not terrible, right, by any means. It's not absolutely trash, um, but I don't know what else you would do. I suppose you could eat in one of the parks, but, you know, I, I don't know, it'd probably be more expensive. So, if you've eaten here before, or you're planning on going, let us know in the comments below.